welcome back to my channel. I've been gone and I'm so sorry about that. I was really sick with the flu and it was just beating me up and I felt like it's been forever since I made a video. So I am back with a video and it's a big video for you guys. It's going to be a really long video. I'm sorry for that. I'm going to try to make it as short as possible but there's a lot to get through. So I just want to say thank you for all the people who hoped that I was okay. I was sick with the flu and I'm just better now and ready to go and make more YouTube videos. So there's a lot to go through so I'm going to start off by taking you guys along with me to the thrift store. So I'll see you guys in a second. Bye! to look through every rack of clothing, so. Oh, this shirt is kind of cute. Mm. Oh, look how cute from Old Navy. And it's only 99 cents, and today is half off, so 50 cents. I'm gonna add that. Oh, this is so pretty. Look at this from H&M. And the cart. So remember, look through all the racks. Even if you don't think you might like anything. Ew, what is this? Oh my god. Mm -mm. You might find something you like. You never know. Okay, so that was pretty much fun. So I didn't buy a lot of things because the store was closing earlier that day, oh, yesterday, which I don't understand why, but I'm gonna show you guys really quickly what I bought. And I bought this lovely spinning chair. <laughs> I've been dying for a computer chair because I've been sitting in one of those stiffed out pull out chair and I try to make it look cute by painting it to go with my vanity set however it was not working so I'm glad I found this at the thrift store for a great price yeah so I'm gonna show you the clothing that I bought and then I'll show you guys how I style it so first I bought this green shirt with white polka dots and it's really really cute because it has eight pockets on the side and then I just rolled up the sleeves to make it look more cute and appropriate and I really like it it's a small but it fits me really really good I'm normally a medium so it was really really good and I love the high neckline because I love high neckline shirts I think that it suits me a lot more better and yeah it was only three dollars I'm obsessed with black shirts because you know you can't go wrong it's like buying a striped shirt but this one was really interesting um, that super interesting because it's just a black shirt but it is long it goes past uh, my bum area so it's really really cute it's like a mini t-shirt dress it was two dollars so I got that the next clothing item I, I bought is something that you guys seen me pick up in the video and it was the Old Navy Alfred's Alfred Tower Alfred Tower okay I can't pronounce that word but it's the um, tower Okay, and it was 99 cents, so I paid 50 cents for this shirt, and it's really cute. It is extra, extra large, but when I tried it on, it was like a perfect baggy shirt. You can wear this with some nice 
tight blue skinny jeans and some booties and you're good to go. I also picked this up in the video and you guys seen it and I just thought it was super cute and it's this H&M um, type of knit sweater and I just thought it was so pretty. I tried it on and it fit me so well. It feels amazing so yeah. I got is something that I've been wanting to get. Um, but I just didn't have the time nor the energy for me being sick, but I wanted another pair of boyfriend jeans of a shade darker. These boyfriend jeans, you need to buy the jeans a bit bigger than your normal size, so I'm a size 5 or 6, and so I bought these in a size, it said 7 or 8, so which was perfect, it's like two sizes up. Bottom of the pants is a bit more of a straight leg, but for me, the bottom of these pants had fit. Um, a bit more kind of flare because I have really skinny legs. I'm going to sew that up and make it fit my legs, maybe more skinnies. And I'm not going to make these distressed jeans because I did make my other boyfriend jeans distressed and I just wanted a nice clean cut boyfriend jean that you can just roll up and look really nice. Maybe fray it out on the pockets a little bit more. But yeah, I paid five, well this was five dollars and half off of five dollars so I bought that. And these are really good pair of jeans. They're from Old Navy, so. I'm from that old school. I play it real cool. Cooler than the ice on my dream or something. Still cold, but I like it high. Get into the questions. The first question was anonymous and the question was what are some good thrift stores in New York City? I'm looking to switch up my style but I do not want anything too pricey. Okay so first of all let's answer your first question. I think good stores in New York City are all based on your own opinion. I searched thrift stores in my local area which is what I did and I just visited a few thrift stores and wherever I found the most pieces that I liked wherever I felt more comfortable to shop at, a nice environment and stuff like that. That was my favorite that I chose. However, other people have many different favorite stores in New York City. If you're willing to switch up your style, retail stores can help you as well. Um, they always don't have to be so pricey. It's just depending on what stores you're going to. I suggest that you try to find which style you're trying to lead on to more and then visit some thrift shops because in thrift shops you have to know what you're looking for. You have to know what suits you best and how you can transition that vintage piece into your wardrobe. The second question was anonymous as well and it, the question said, or the statesman, <laughs> said, I love your style. How do you find pieces from the thrift store that fit so well? well finding things that fit me at the thrift store is uh, pretty obvious. I just look for things that are my size. Now if it's your first time thrifting and you want to make sure you find a piece that fits you well, go in your closet and find uh, one shirt that fits you well, look at the size and then the material as well and then find jeans whether they're high waisted or you know to your waist or low ride jeans whatever jeans that you want to find at the thrift store try to look for that size in your closet so when you go thrifting you know what size you are and it's easier to find pieces so I just look for my size on a shirt that I like. If it's not my size, I either alter it or just don't buy it. The third question was anonymous as well. And the question is, where do you go thrift shopping and what time do they close? So that kind of refers to the first question, but a lot of people always ask me where, 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 where. And again, all I did was try to find local thrift shops to my area, visit them, and then find which one I like the best and that's the one I go to the most. Most thrift stores I go to close in between the times of 5 to 6 o'clock. The fourth question was from Julister on Instagram. I'm sorry for pronouncing it, I'll put it down here. I want to say thank you for your question and hi. What thrift store did you go to? Um, I did go to the one here where I live in the Bronx, far from my home, so I can tell you guys 
where exactly that was. It, it was on East 175th Street and Park Avenue. And it looks like a solitary area and an abandoned building, but I promise you once you walk up those steps, um, that their store is amazing, it's big, and I love it. The last question is by Kim Fuentes. Hi Kimberly. He asks, how often do you adjust or alter thrifted clothes? Um, four out of five times I do alter my clothing. Four out of five times that I go thrifty, I do alter clothing, but if I'm feeling lazy and I don't want to alter it and it's not my size, I'm like, ugh. You're so cute, but you don't fit me. So I hope that I answered all you guys' questions. If you have any more questions that I did not answer, I'm truly sorry, but just pop it in the comments down below. I love responding and I love reading your comments. They truly, truly help me a lot. So commenting on my videos will give me good grace. I, I try to respond to a lot of everyone's questions as much as I can. As usual, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.